a YouTuber named Joe's Paranormal TV decides to explore a haunted forest in Michigan in the early morning hours. The first thing they notice is how all of the trees look unnatural, like nothing they've ever seen before. In fact, the deeper into the forest they go, the stranger things seem to get. What was that? A metallic clang draws their attention, followed by faint cries in the distance. You hear that? Joe thinks he sees moving shadows and tries to reassure himself that he and his friend are alone in the wilderness. Still, his camera's batteries are draining fast despite being brand new, and now he feels like he's being watched. Joe's equipment starts to malfunction for a moment. It clears up just in time to catch this noise. It's creepy out here, man. It sounded like right up ahead of us here. It's the unmistakable sound of a baby crying. I think that they probably really did hear this, but let me know if you think it's real or edited. Anyway, they eventually find a clearing of slashed trees that have been rearranged into strange symbols. Maybe someone in the comments section can tell me if these are pagan symbols or not, and if so, what they mean and what they would be doing here. Eventually, Joe's terror becomes unmanageable, and he flees after he thinks he hears something close by. Strange voices continue to follow Joe and his friend as they make their way out. This abandoned house ended up being one of the most active places that the YouTube team from iConjure TV has ever investigated. Here's just one example. Get lost. Something definitely fell or moved. You can hear it plain as day. Get lost. I don't know what that was, but I think they should get out of there as quickly as they can before it's too late. The following was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Urban Ghost Hunters 901 while filming B-roll in an abandoned church for a future overnight investigation. He caught something frightening on camera. One camera was in a fixed place, capturing a steady shot of a book set on a railing, surrounded by lit candles, while the cameraman was behind the other camera, filming the rest of the room. You can hear the book hit the ground loudly in both shots, while the steady cam captures its fall. <laughs> Nothing visible pushed the book or caused it to fall to the floor. In the comments, Urban explains in a more detail what happened. I was going to do a pan up shot from the back of the church, and as I started to pan up my camera blurred, as if it were trying to focus, not saying it's paranormal because it was in low light, but as it blurred, and I was looking through the LCD display, I saw something fly right in front of me. Seems like something paranormal had arrived. When you play with the paranormal, you're bound to get burned. Think it's probably time to get out of there. If you plan to ghost hunt in a haunted forest, prepare to meet your doom. YouTuber Kelsey Davies and her crew encountered several paranormal events in their forest ghost hunt. First, she hears a woman's voice. I just heard a woman humming. That sounds more like a shout than a hum to me. Apparently, Kelsey saw her too. She was crouched down by the creek, humming with no shoes on. As they approach the creek in question, Susie feels like she was pushed. You guys don't push me. I didn't. What? What? Someone pushed you? Stop. So oh, where's the I swear. Don't push me. I it was him. He's staying right here. <laughs> Did someone push Did Susie? Push you? Don't push me. When asked if somebody tried to push Susie into the water, the spirits have an answer for Kelsey. I heard yes, and then it said we are coming. Are you guys coming?
While they continue to speak through the spirit box, one of them hears the name Susie. Why? I heard Susie. I swear oh my to God. God. I really? Heard It seems this spirit is out to get Susie. Right behind you, whoever. I can't even speak right now. Oh, that's it, I'm here. Yeah. That's it, I'm it here. It literally said I'm here. That's it, I'm the spirits repeat their intentions. <laughs> what the? Oh, that was, we're all coming. That, was a, that literally that was like said we're all coming. Voice, though. That was not like a regular no, voice. That no. was like a demonic voice. That was really bad. And their thirst for Susie doesn't end there. Oh my god! Susie! Yeah. You heard that? Yeah. I heard that's my second time. Why do they want me so bad? I think this is a valid question. Why are the spirits coming after Susie? And did the ghost woman by the creek try and push Susie into the water? If I were her, I'd take this as a sign to get the heck out of there. This entry is a double dose. The first video comes to us from YouTuber Black Cat in November of 2021. The cameraman is filming from outside a bedroom. At first everything is still in silent. Then the wardrobe doors swing open and close plastic bags eggs and other objects are all tossed out of it. They aren't tumbling out, they're literally being ejected. When the cameraman enters to investigate the wardrobe, you can see there is shelving that would prevent anyone of a normal size from hiding in there, out of view and throwing the stuff out. As the camera pans over the wardrobe, noise is heard from behind the cameraman, who jerks around to find a bunch of papers being dispelled from I'm not sure where. While this poltergeist mystery goes unsolved, let's turn to the next one. Published by Nikki McMillan in November of 2021, this security footage was captured at Nikki's workplace. Fine porcelain and glassware is encased in glass in the shop. Nobody is around. Then a solid frame decides to skydive from a shelf in the hallway. There's nothing behind the frame and nothing on the shelf that would have caused it to spring overboard. A closer view of the shelf makes us all the more mysterious. Like the activity in the other video, the frame does not look like it just tumbled from the shelf. It appears as though it's being actively ejected. What witchcraft is at play here? Are these just random tumblings? Or are these entities actively poltergeisting? Are these paranormal explorers being trolled? Or is there something haunting this former asylum? Published by Exploring with Maximilian in April of 2021, while the team is exploring, they hear something press the out-of-tune keys of a distant piano. No, I can't hear the piano. Is that the piano? No. Stop. From it freaks them out and they're not sure what to do. They decide to go check it out and find the room empty, but while in the room they hear another strange noise off screen. They conclude that there has to be someone in here, but they can't seem to find them. What the Now what was that? No, there must be someone in there, surely. Until... Is somebody hiding in that curtain? Although they don't check the curtain, they still sense someone is here and they call out to them. After hearing yet another noise, they decide to leave. They never did see what or who was prowling around the abandoned asylum, but whatever it was chased them out of there with its trolling. I just wish we could know if it was a true haunting or just some strangers messing with the team. Vision seen by many is sometimes diagnosed as mass hysteria, but when it's caught on video, you cannot deny its existence. This video was published in February of 2012. The clip shows a group of people staring at the sun over the trees. At first, the camera appears to be just capturing the blazing sunlight, but as it focuses in, you can clearly see the shape of a woman within that blinding light. The clip, which has gone viral, was filmed in the Ivory Coast. The day prior to this apparition, locals had seen something which appeared to be a blue halo in the sky, a case that many thought was extraterrestrial. But when the apparition appeared using infrared technology, locals instead believed they were witnessing a miracle. 
Government officials tried to minimize the sighting, saying it was nothing, but some locals believe the apparition may simply be Mary casting her mercy and benevolence over the impoverished region. Whether you call this vision a miracle or not, coupled with the halo that is said to have appeared during the preceding days, these startling forms in the clouds are unexplainable. Giant moving vat is supposed to pour molten steel into a receiving chamber where it can be cooled and molded. This receiving must already be full though because the red hot liquid quickly boils over and the intense heat causes a huge chain reaction. Liquid steel now blankets the floor as the vat continues to do its automated job, sending more of the lava-like substance spraying everywhere. At 5 minutes and 40 seconds, you can see two scared factory workers emerge from their hiding spot around the corner, where they must have been the entire time. They are extremely lucky to be alive. One whiff of the toxic steam would be enough to singe their lungs. Number Some scary videos just stay with you, so much so that you wish you'd never seen them in the first place. This video comes from Ghost Crusaders, published to YouTube in April of 2020. This episode explores the haunted Lexworth Village, the crew's very first haunted location which they investigated in 2014. Located in Rockland County, New York, in a 1921 report, over half of the residents in Lexworth were youth, 328 of the 506 patients, ranging from the age of 0 to 16. This fact may contribute to the negative energy in the village, as many Lexworth staff said a scarcity in necessary supplies, as well as food and water. Lexworth's conditions were exposed through photographs and media investigations, and although reforms were made in the 1970s due to public pressure, Lexworth permanently closed in 1996. Since then, the complex has fallen into decay. Everything remains how it was left, instantly abandoned. The Ghost Crusaders explores this institution and all its appalling history. The crew notes in the comments, while using an SB-11 spirit box, I never thought I captured any EVPs. It wasn't until reviewing the footage for this episode that I heard the voice, and yes, I can hear other voices like multiple people talking, which I do say at one point, but I edited it out for timing, but I can't make out what they are saying. If anybody's in here, at one point, the EVP captures a voice saying, So something comes through, it should be irrelevant. So it's not hard to get interference. So something comes through, it should be irrelevant. A moment later, the voice pleads, Please don't hurt me. Later, when they are in the bathroom, a voice, potentially from a phantom orderly of the hospital, tells them to sit, as if directing them to do their business on the toilet. That was a girl's voice, did you hear that? Yes, yes. Some of the EVPs mentioned are not very clear, but the female scream that's heard through the spirit box at one point is definitely frightening. Later, their cameras run out of battery, and while they're changing the batteries, the audio of the EVP is still captured. A voice says, leave me alone. At the same time, the investigator who heard the voice in real time, Dan, says he felt a cold breeze on the back of his neck and he felt someone was standing behind them, whispering into his ear, Would you have the stomach to visit Lexworth Village? Neither would we. In 2007, a YouTuber named Ben Ems uploaded this video made by his friend, Levi, who is reciting some lines for a play, when something appears in the window. I wish you were here. The resolution is good for a YouTube video that's over 13 years old, so I don't think it's computer effects, but I do think it's planned. This is the reflection of someone who is probably standing behind the camera, not behind Levi. The upper corner gets brighter when they turn on the light to make the reflection appear in the window. So while this video is creepy, I doubt it's as real as Ben claims. What is that? That's scary. Yeah. Is that lightning? One night in 2018, this intense blue light was seen flickering in the sky all across New York City. 
The light was so intense that you could see its reflection on the water, as if it were the middle of the day. To the left and right, the sky was still dark, but in the middle was a blazing blue event of massive proportions. The official explanation is a power generator failure caused by an arc of electricity to shoot up into the sky. But here's the thing. There was no blast, no fire, no one hurt. Firefighters didn't even examine inside of the building it allegedly happened in, according to news reports. And when you look up stories about the incident, a large number of the headlines seem to go out of their way. To specifically mention it was not aliens kind of makes you wonder. A pet snapping turtle doesn't take kindly to its owners and already has its mouth open. The warning sign goes unheeded, but thankfully one of his friends inadvertently saves him by getting his attention moments before this happens. He said, what's up? <laughs> This was almost a solid chunk of flesh taken out of his face and a trip for medical attention for certain. A YouTube channel called Meet the Vloggers goes exploring a haunted cemetery in the United Kingdom in search of an authentic ghost encounter and they think they've caught a bizarre moment on tape. After a tight squeeze, the three of them are in and immediately feel surrounded by negative energy. First, we've just come into the um, haunted cemetery and we're going to have a look around. It feels really eerie, like really starting to get dark to a lot as well. We're staying here, we're doing exploring, She's man. So this girl annoying. doesn't understand what exploring means. One already wants to head back while there is still light to be had, but is quickly persuaded to stay. Night falls and their unwavering dread reaches peak levels. 100%. I'm really not. Oh my god, I'm so scared. What? One of them. Layla sees something ahead but nothing is caught on camera. Aside from an empty walkway, no ghost sighting, at least not yet. Little do they know a fourth person is moments away from joining their trio. They take a few steps forward and Layla begins to freak out again. She must have a sixth sense or something because this time there is frightening paranormal evidence. Oh, this is so creepy. Come on, man. No, I'm actually bugging. A strange and mysterious figure silently approaches them without saying a word. Keep in mind this is after hours and they themselves had to sneak in through the gate so whoever this is, they are not likely a visitor. That leaves a maintenance or security, but if that were the case, then they would have said something to three people trespassing. Night has fallen and they are on their way out when they hear some really scary noises that prompt them to move a little faster. Across from them is a humming crying noise coming from some kind of candlelit vigil that they don't want to investigate. If they did, they might have encountered the scariest ghost sighting ever caught on camera. Dr. Lost Syndrome published this video in May of 2014 writing, a little short video where Maskey gets some payback for the taggers ruining his hideout. The video follows a pair of teenagers in what looks to be an abandoned building in the wilderness. The building is full of graffiti and one of the lads starts spraying some more over top of it. That's when they hear this strange noise. The first time they hear it, they brush it off. The second time, they start to wonder what's up. The camera is passed off to the dude while the girl continues spraying in the room. The man heads outside looking around the area and shouting hello. Hello? When there's no response, the two pass off the camera again and then again as the girl goes to check if there's anyone out there while the man continues spray painting. After painting a bit, the man scans the graffiti in the room. That's when he arrives at the door to find Maskey outlined in the doorway. The masked man charges him and knocks him to the ground. It appears the man is knocked out cold. 
What is unclear is what Maskey did with his body. Maskey's revenge is certainly not something you would want to think about as you fall asleep at night. And trust me on that one. The Stones River Paranormal Team is investigating a haunted courthouse in Tennessee when something truly bizarre happens. One of them is talking about how cold their hands feel when all of the sudden... One of the double doors leading to the bathroom unlocks and swings shut. The team tries to recreate the situation to see if it's just a loose hinge or a faulty lock, but this doesn't seem to be the case at all. The door has no problem staying open for the rest of the night and doesn't shut again. Long before this particular room was remodeled, it was used as a prison for captured Union soldiers. During the Civil War, it only makes sense that paranormal activity would occur in this historic corner of the courthouse. I don't know if this creature meant to swim up to them, but it did, and so they bring it on the pier. Yep. You watching it swimming? Mm-hmm. That thing is freaky. I think it's a giant worm, but at the same time, I can almost see an alien-like face here at one minute before it goes out of focus. It's looking up at him, and here are the eyes, and this is the mouth, and what that slime is, I simply don't know. Everyone needs to help me to identify this thing, otherwise it's no sleep for me tonight, I'm afraid. What's more terrifying than your child staring at something invisible in the middle of the night when you hear someone talking to her? Posted to the ghost subreddit, El Soto 14 explains, Everyone was asleep in the house, but something told me to check my daughter's monitor. She was sleeping, then sat up and stared at the door. The redditor is wondering what the strange noise might be at the 10 second mark of the recording. There seems to be a consensus in the comments that the voice says the word listen. Others say it just sounds like a frog croaking to them. The redditor notes that her daughter doesn't remember anything from the incident. Whatever the voice is saying, if it really is a voice, the girl sitting up, seemingly aware of the presence, in and of itself is terrifying. This strange video has me doing a double take, shared by TikToker UaBerm1997, and originally shared by bjoshua09. The video shows a couple of partiers going down a water slide, but watch the second one closely. It looks like a second pair of legs is sticking out to the side. Watch again. Is someone following closely behind the woman? It doesn't appear so. When she splashes into the water, no one pops up behind her. So what's going on here? The only explanation I can see is that there was another person following closely behind that somehow swam out of view during the splash, but I don't know. It sure doesn't look like that's what's happening. What do you think is going on here? Jonathan Savo published this video in January 2015. After visiting his girlfriend in a Paris hospital, he wrote that a woman in the next bed was roaring and screeching with the voice of a devil, and that's what the video captures. <sighs> The woman is seen lying flat in a bed, speaking in a raspy, evil voice. She is harassing the couple, calling them tacky and ugly, and telling them they're all going to die. Although you can only see her profile in the video, and you can't see her mouth moving, what you can see is her chest rising and falling as she delivers her angry tirade of insults and threats. She then says she's going to call her mafia friend, after which she claims she's going to remove her IV drip so they can get out of the hospital. That's where the clip ends, leaving us wondering if the woman did in fact try to escape. But John doesn't leave us hanging. In his own words, he wrote, I was no longer filming when she or it started to get up and wanted to take the life of a person sitting next to her. Five nurses came in to stop her, and we were asked to leave the room quickly. 
What happened next, John doesn't know. Prior to this experience, John says he was skeptical about demonic possessions and everything related to them. But after seeing one in the flesh, he's a believer. If you have a heart, this entry will break it. It was this woman's dream to arrive at her wedding by helicopter. She decided to surprise her husband at the altar by doing just that. Alongside her brother, in July of 2017, she climbed aboard the copter. The flight took off in Brazil, just one mile from the reception venue. The excited bride-to-be and her brother are both smiling at the beginning of the video as they take off. But soon they're swallowed up by fog. An alarm starts going off and the camera begins to shake. You can hear the passengers screaming as the pilot loses control of the copter. All four pass away in the incident. When the copter didn't arrive at the venue after 15 minutes, despite the organizers being informed of its liftoff, the pastor was forced to tell the groom the devastating news as neither he nor any of the other 300 guests had known about the planned entrance. The incident came as an absolute horror to the entire wedding party. It's painful to imagine and harder to watch. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.